definitely love the color i love the wig i did do some tweaking to it you know i had to put my little spin on it because i definitely tweezed this part and i did flat iron this side of the hair because it was not matching up with this side and this side just came absolutely bomb and this side it was kind of like what you doing so i definitely had to you know throw some heat on this unit but now get get I am definitely here for this stamp of approval right now. Absolutely gorgeous. She comes in a lot of different fun colors as well as your standard solid colors. If you're not into coloring like I am. So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is from Sensational. Her name is Tiara. This is not a new unit, but she's kind of new. This is from the Empress Lace Wig Collection and... She has a natural center part. And I have her in the color T1B Emerald. So this is how the model is looking on the stock card. Absolutely gorgeous. And you have your color choices on the back. Of course, I know some people was like, why you didn't do the blonde or whatever? I chose this green color because I love It's a Wig Cabrina, I believe, and I got that in the 1B green color as well. So I wanted to see what Tiara was about, and she is popping. Now, she's not a blunt cut bob. I love how this looks. Imagine how she looks in a 1B. So, yeah, I did use this new product from Got To Be Glue, and this is their Botifying Mousse, and it's supposed to give you insane volume as well as a nice hold. It doesn't feel as hard and firm as the regular, you know, blast and freezing spray from Got To Be Glue. So I love the hold on this one and it smells great. And I think it laid the wig super flat, even more flat than what it actually came because I didn't put any heat towards the top. The luster on this is so natural. It does give a shine this um got to be glue um volume mousse so you know it's not too shiny but it definitely gives a healthy looking shine to it so i like the fact that you know this stuff is really good as far as cap construction on this wig you have two combs in the front with the comb in the back and adjustable straps definitely big hair friendly and it comes with a softer type of lace this is the part and like i said i did tweeze it and I did add a little bit of powder and that's it. I did leave my edges out, but it does come with baby hairs. Now the texture on this is a light yakky and I love how soft the hair is. The density is pretty, you know, pretty full in my opinion. You are going to get some shedding and tangling with this wig. She is about 12 inches long on me. No layers whatsoever, but it's kind of like asymmetrical because the back is a little bit tad bit shorter than the front pieces. It's pretty much Tiara. This is a simple slay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Has a lot of body and movement to it. If you're into those realistic looking wigs, definitely you will want to pick up this one. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can purchase this unit from. Really inexpensive, under $30 in the slay. Girl, the sleigh is all the way here. So I'll give you a 360. Of course, this is the front view of the unit. This is the right side. This is the back of the unit. And this is the left side. So I like this. I would definitely rate Tiara a 9 out of 10 for me. So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about Tiara. Subscribe. Click that bell to be notified every time I upload. Like and share this video. Check out some of my other videos if you have not already. Because the sleigh is here as you can see. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys later in my next one.